Hey, what's up guys? Growing the Hobby and Son. Say hi, Connor. Hi. Coming back to you guys with a brand new video, probably the most risky video, dollar for dollar, that we've probably ever done as far as what you can pull and the risk that it entails. If you guys can't tell, the product is before you here. We got five of the Lucky Envelope packs um, as far as basketball goes and stuff. We got everything from Flux to Optic to Spectra and two different years of Select. Uh, so we got five total boxes. This is about $1,000 in boxes. I'm going to move these over to the side and uh, tell you what this is about as I move them over. Um, but anyway, these, if you've never seen before, which I've never opened these before, so this is a first for me and Connor. Um, this is a one-pack box. has only two cards. Every one of these only has two cards. And you cannot get autographs. You will get two cards that are numbered to eight. So both cards will be numbered to eight in all five of these boxes today. And it's basically make it or break it because if you don't get a big name player like LeBron, you know, Curry, et cetera, and so forth, or one of the big rookies, you are going to lose money and you're going to lose it big time and quick. Can you get uh, Wemby and Yea? Uh, no, that was a good good guess on that. Uh, yeah, Wemby is not in any of the envelopes today. Uh, perhaps in the future, though, Connor. But, uh, yeah, anyway, so we'll be looking for some of the decent rookies here. Hopefully get something. I'm hoping one or two decent cards at least out of these packs i don't recommend doing this really to anybody like i said these are close to 200 dollars a piece roughly they vary all over the place because they're different products but uh, it is pretty close to about a thousand dollars in product here today in these five envelopes so we'll just say an average of 200 dollars per pack and box here um yeah it's it's sketchy it's scary and uh yeah i don't know all i can say is wish us luck connor let me give you this hold on to this let's break it up let's break it up and connor the envelope please we're going to do this like presentation style here. <laughs> All right. Oh, I'm nervous about this. I will show you guys each box really quickly after I get the cellophane off of it. So you guys can take a peek at what the box looks like. So this is Flux, uh, as you guys can see right here. Um, two cards in there. They got the Ant-Man featured. It says uh, two lucky envelope exclusive parallels inside because it's going to be numbered to eight. It's 22-23 if you couldn't tell already. And uh, that's basically what they tell you on the back. Lots of base, like you see, 200 base, uh, 200 base, and 50 base rookie. So 250 card set uh, to pull the right two guys. It takes a lot of luck. Let's get into it though. Flux 2223, looking for Paulo or Chet. Oof. And if not, this is how you flush away your money very quickly down the drain. But uh, this will probably be a one and done, guys. As far as what. You know what? I'm going to use a decoy, actually, guys. One second. Leave that there. Hopefully we get something good, people. Yes. Okay. A decoy, because it's only two cards. May as well, may as well get uh, our money's worth in these. I think these are both upside down. We're going to bring them in. Okay. Card number one. Oh, no, of course. It's the other way around. Yeah. Look like the Knicks. Do I sense a Trevor Keels? <laughs> That's what I'm feeling right now. And... Jalen Brunson, actually, I'll take it. Not a rookie, but a decent player there. And that'll be numbered out of eight. Let me actually use him instead of a decoy this time to reveal the next one. We want a rookie. Who we have? Josh Christopher. So, not the biggest one right there. You can see we've got a bookend, at least, on that Brunson. One of eight. And our numbering on that is the other bookend. Eight of eight, yeah. So, there was our flux. I would say that we probably did not get our money back on that one. Connor, the envelope, please. Here you go. Thank you. We are on to 2122 Optic. You guys know this is a tough product to hit in to begin with. Anything Optic, especially like loose packs. I know it's not like technically a loose pack. It's a box, but uh, yeah, it's going to be hard to hit in here, I'm sure. 2122. So two exclusive cards, numbered to eight. It's going to be pretty much the same literature on every box. They're not going to tell you or say probably much else other than that see what we can get in here and hoping for Cade personally I'd like to get a Cade out of here two cards oh let's hope at least one of them's a rookie at least right because uh oof, we can get crushed as you guys seen all right so pack out of the way I think we're upside down oh no we're not actually we're the right way all right we want to see a rookie logo we want to see somebody big we want a big vet we want something who have we here for the Spurs? Oof, Mr. Forbes, that's not what we wanted to see. Come on, second card. Come on, oh, there we go. We got a, we got a rookie. 
A great rookie. rookie. Let's get one of the big ones. Come on, baby. Who's that going to be? It's not Cade. It's Amy Charles Bassey. Okay. Well, Charles is uh, 7 of 8 on that one. At least it's a rookie. And the Forbes is also 7 of 8. That's kind of weird. 7, 7 of 8 and 8. Yes. Uh, the envelope, please, Connor. We move on to Spectra, 22-23. Again, the same usual suspects this time. Looking for Chet. Paulo, that's my two main guys. See what we can do in here. So again, same literature. There's not much to, to show with these boxes, but if you've never seen them, I figure I may as well show you. Again, 250 card total set here. So whew, it's tough to hit the player that you want. At least this time it's a black pack. And oh, let's get some luck. Right, Connor? Yep. Right. Definitely need a lot. We need a lot of luck. <laughs> this is very hard to hit in. Uh, very, very hard. Very risky, too. Very, very risky. Okay, so here we go with the Spectra. Is this the right way? It is, and we got a rookie right off the bat. Come on. Come on. Paulo, Chet. Oh, baby. Ha <laughs> ha! Chet, baby. That's what we're talking Let's about. Go. That is probably, at this point, a recording this video, that is probably the biggest rookie. Because Chet has overtaken Paulo as far as value goes, and uh, that is a huge pull. Let's That's, go, baby. That is what we needed. Holy crap. And let's reveal a second card. Then I'll show you the numbering on the Chet. Let's get another big player. Let's get a vet. All right, Quentin Grimes. All right, so not quite the uh, the Chet on that one. I'll show you guys the back of the Grimes. That is three of eight. And our Chet. Oh, what a baby. Oh, one of eight. I'll take it. If I couldn't get the seven... To be jersey numbered, I will take the uh, first one. So one of eight on the chat. That's a beauty of a card. That is uh, definitely going to have some really good value right there. So that is, that's a big hit. All right, guys. Let's move on. The envelope, please, Connor. We're going to do 22-23. Select. select. we got two years of select to end with. We're going to go reverse chronological order here, which was actually, uh, as far as like expenses go, this was the cheaper of the two boxes. So we're going to chat hunt again here. I'm looking for Paul. That would be awesome to get another one. You guys see the uh, literature, not much on the sides there. This one's an even bigger set, so 300 cards set on this one right there. So, oof, that's going to be rough to hit on. That is going to be rough to hit on, 300 cards. So, all right, can we hit lightning in a bottle for a second time? That would be awesome. It would be awesome. But, oof. Come on, we've had some luck with Select, actually. I did pull Paulo autograph out of 25 and uh, Jaden Ivey out of 25 as well. Tie-dye was my lucky thing this year. All right. Come on. Let's go. Let's go. Who we got here? No rookie. Nope. De'Aaron Fox is going to be our first one. We want a rookie. Come on, baby. Come on, rookie. Oh, there we go. It looks like it's possibly a court side. Oh, there we go. There's our answer. It's a Jalen Suggs. So Jalen Suggs. On the court side. Six of eight. Six of eight. Oh, oh that's not good to drop that, huh? Mm -hmm. Six of eight. Two off the jersey number. We can't hit any jersey numbers to save our life. And the uh, the Fox, six of eight also. So we swift on that one as well. All right, Connor, the envelope, please. Our last one. 21 22, select this time. Select basketball. Yep, let's end big. For me, like I said, I prefer Cade. I mean, I there's would others. Say nobody could beat that check. No, I, it's going to be tough to beat that for sure. I mean, I am I am happy we got that. You got Jaw on the cover. The back of this one is 300 cards again, so really hard to hit on this one. This is the most expensive of the five boxes today. And let's <laughs> let's get some serious luck here. Let's end with a really nice pull. Can we do it? That is the big question. Oop. And, of course, the cards are backwards on top of everything else, right? Of course. First time. All right, let's see if I can switch this around the right way without revealing these. Yeah. No peeking. You ain't allowed to peek if I can't yeah. peek. All right. Here we go. Don't know if this is the right way or not. It is. Okay, here we go. All right, here we go. Come on, baby. Big time. Do it. Let's get a big vet, at least. That is not who we're looking for. All right, Danilo, so... First card there. Let's move on to the second one. Our final card of this rip. Rookie. It is a rookie. Yes. All right. Can we get Cade? Come on, Cade, please. Show yourself. Not Cade. But, oh, I'll take it. I'll take it. A Giddy all day long. That's a good card right there. Josh Giddy, baby. Four of eight. That is a good pull. That is a nice one. 
Josh Giddy Four Veda course one off jersey number as usual. And I'll show you guys the uh Could it be an eight of eight? Uh no, no. it is a one. One, one opposite of, eight. of it. That's okay though. We did get two pretty big pulls, to be honest with you. I have no clue on the values of these cards, but uh I would imagine we did pretty good. Uh, I, I think that we're at least close to getting our money back if we didn't get our money back. Uh, I really don't know what that check goes for, honestly, guys. I'd, I'd be lying if I told you. Same with the Giddy. Those are the two biggest cards, though, for sure. We'll have to look it up. No giant vets or anything, but we did hit two big rookies, so I am definitely happy with that. Uh, please do me a favor, guys. Like, subscribe, share. Click that bell notification button to be notified of future videos. Lots more coming to you guys, as always, in the description below. You can find my email address, mailing address, and Instagram handle. Other than that, we will see you next time, and Connor? See you later, alligator. In a while, crocodile.